Right, Roland. Now, let's look at the history of Mali pertaining to this particular issue. And the country has had two military takeovers in nine months. The latest on Friday is the fifth since it gained independence from France in 1960, having suffered droughts, rebellions, 23 years of military dictatorship until democratic elections in 1992. Once home to several pre-colonial empires, the landlocked arid West African country is one of the largest on the continent. For centuries, Et northern city of Timbuktu was a key regional trading post and center of Islamic culture. But this prominence has long since faded. After independence from France in 1960, Mali suffered drought, rebellions, a coup and 23 years of military dictatorship until democratic elections in 1992. In 2013, France intervened militarily upon the government's request following the capture of the town of Kona and its troops overrun Islamic strongholds. Authorities agreed a UN-sponsored ceasefire with Tuareg separatists in 2015, but part of the country remained tense with Tuareg rebels sporadically active. A jihadist insurgency in Mali's north and central regions continues. Friday's ruling by Mali's constitutional court stated that Kenegoita should take on the responsibilities of interim president to lead the transition process to its conclusion. Two army officers involved in the previous coup also lost their jobs in the reshuffle. Earlier on Friday, in his first public comment since seizing power, Kenegoita defended his actions. We had to choose between disorder and cohesion within the defense and security forces, and we chose cohesion, he said. A coup in 2012 led to militant Islamists exploiting the chaos and seizing the north of the country. French troops helped regain territory, but attacks have continued as the insurgents have capitalized on the persistent political instability in the region. This has all led to public confidence waning about the army leader's ability to tackle the Islamist insurgency that has spilled into neighboring Burkina Faso and Niger. Thousands of French, African and UN troops are based in the country to tackle the militants. Mali is renowned worldwide for having produced some of the stars of African music, most notably Salif Keita.